Hey everyone, Dave here back in the garage, ready to pull some eBay orders. And if we have any other orders, we'll pull those too, I'm not sure. Uh, I will say it is cleaner in here than it has been in a while. I'm gonna give credit to Tina because she, she did come help me with it. But look at that, you can actually walk around. All my unlisted is, you know, mostly sorted in one big area. And this is the week where I finally, hopefully start really making progress on listing and kind of getting caught up because I've been kind of in run mode for the last couple of weeks, a couple of months really. Why do I have this? I thought I'd do that now. Uh, a couple of months really, and it's now time to start catching up and, you know, making sure that everything's listed and, you know, all that sort of thing. So that's, that's kind of the goal. And I've started, I started yesterday. What am I looking for? A snap on half inch? <laughs> I just took out all those tools to realize I was looking for the wrong thing. All right, boring tool talk. But socket thingies like this have different size drives, like a uh, quarter, three quarter, half inch, I think. I I'm pretty sure those are the options. So I was looking for a half inch socket, but it actually is a half inch drive. And then the socket itself is 32 millimeters. So that's why I was confused because I was looking for the wrong thing. But I did find it eventually. It all worked out in the end. Maybe I shouldn't put these things back because then I have to pull another socket. Actually, finally, a little break in tools. Not as many tools sold as have been selling. So, you know, the last couple of videos have been like all tools. 32 millimeter metric, 12 point, is that 12 point? Yes, 39.99, 40 bucks. 12 points the amount of like little points inside. Uh, 40 bucks for that one socket plus shipping. Oh, this next thing is not a socket, so I guess I could put all this back. Yeah, the tool setup is still not great in here, but it's working for now, so I haven't focused too much on it. We've been focused on just getting the general place cleaned up, and then, you know, we can try to refine things and make them a little cleaner uh, and better organized here in the future. I did just clear out a bunch of room for more tools, so I think in the end we'll get it all sorted. So today's my wedding anniversary, by the way. Congratulations to me and Tina, I guess. It is uh, 19 years of marriage. 19 years that we've been married, so what was that, 2005? Yeah, so next year will be the 20th. Um, so yeah, that's that's today, which means that I will take a break at some point and maybe go out on a date or something with Tina. Uh, we're thinking maybe a movie and dinner or something. I gotta talk to her and finalize it, but you know, we're gonna make some last minute plans at some point here today. But uh, I am getting my work done as much as possible before we actually go do anything like that. So that should be good. Okay, let me put all this back. See, when I pull tools, I make a mess. And after the video, I have to go clean it all up. All right, I'll show you this next thing that's sold. This is a slide hammer diesel injector puller from Snap-on. It's this thing. Okay, it's like that comes off somehow. And then it's got these little other pieces. Now, it was missing some pieces. I did find the exact item on eBay that it sold for about 100 This was missing a few little bits and bobs. So I listed it for 75 And it did sell, plus shipping. So 75 bucks for that, 40 for the socket. Okay, and then we get to a terrible sale. So we got two good sales and a terrible sale. The terrible sale I will be losing money on, uh, pretty much guaranteed. Let's take a look here. Yeah, $10. Wait, what? $84. And it sold for $10. Free shipping. I don't understand what happened. Tina just walked out here. I think, uh-oh. Wait a minute. Maybe they bought something else. Do you have a discount? I don't know how this happened. This is really weird. I, so I had this listed for $85, and it sold for $10 free shipping. Like, look at this. $84.14, but then if you go to the sold, is it possible, like, I sent a, an offer or something for $10? Look at that. $10 sold. But I don't remember or sending... Did accept no, I didn't offer? accept an offer. I don't, I don't understand, like, can I... Is it a glitch in eBay? $10 free shipping. Why is it $10? I don't, I really don't. The only thing I could think is maybe I sent an offer for $10 free shipping. Can you look the app and see what happened? I don't think so. Well, that's disappointing. Do I cancel? Can I cancel? Um, maybe I'll message them. Just, Should I message them? Just take the loss. And here's a free gift. I, I feel like I just want to at least ask. I'm gonna at least ask the buyer why it was $10 for them. I don't know how in the world that sold for $10. Doesn't actually make sense. I didn't send, I mean, I sent out bulk offers yesterday to like 22 items, but I feel like if I had sent $10 offers to 22 items, I would have sold more than one item. 
So I don't know. That's very odd. Uh, can I look at? Let me. That's. I think there's a way to check offers. Hold on. There might be a bunch of pending offers that I sent out for ten dollars. If that's what happened, although I don't remember doing that. Listings eligible. Send offer. Can I go to offer sent. I feel like there was a way to do that. Send offer sent. Here we go. Did someone like hack eBay or? <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could figure out what happened here. Anyways, this is probably boring. So somehow I sold an $85 train for $10 and I don't know what in the world happened. Um, I don't see any other outstanding $10 offers. There was no other $10 sales. I don't know if it was like a glitch with eBay or if I did send out a handful. Uh, can I see? I wish I could see what I sent. Anyways, I messaged the buyer. I want to... I probably will honor it anyways. I kind of need to honor it anyways. I'm not really happy about honoring it <laughs> because I don't know how it happened. If I knew how it, like, here's the thing with me. If I knew and remembered accidentally sending out a bunch of $10 offers or sending a $10 offer on this one item, it'd be a different story, but I don't remember doing it. Let me see what he said. He actually wrote back already. I sent an offer for $10. He said I sent an offer for $10. Ugh. That's so disappointing. $10 free shipping on an $85 train. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. I'm not mad at the person. I mean, it. if someone sent me an offer for $10 free shipping on an $80 item, I would. I also, I'm like a little nervous. Can I cancel all offers? This is a question. In case I did it to any others. Let me see, is there a way to do that? I'll be right back. I could potentially end all those items. That seems like the only option. So if I were to check all these sent offers and hit actions, can I mass delete them? End listings, okay. I could do that, all right, but I'd have to make sure I do this right. Yes, yeah, I could do that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna end all these. End listings, just in case, I don't know. If I sent out 20 ten dollar offers that would not be ideal so i've just ended 200 listings hopefully i can relist them all very quickly i should be able to listings oh, wait i need to make sure that these were unsold as of today can i do that it says 201 i canceled 200 and it says 201 are eligible to relist from today so what happened all right i figured out which one not to relist yeah i mean okay so I sent out two sets of offers. One time I sent out 200 offers. The other time I sent out 25 offers. This must have been the 25 offers because I, I don't remember sending a $10. Usually, like, so I, I went to do 10% off. My guess is that I did $10 instead of 10. And so that's probably what happened. Now, that means I sent a $10 offer to 25 people or whatever, and must have, maybe a lot of them didn't see it, because that was probably a very good offer on many of the items. Uh, sell similar. Can I hit sell similar on 200 items? Oh, I can. That's probably good for my store, too. It'll look like I listed 200 items today. Submit all. Submit. All right, so I just relisted them all. I didn't want to do that, but I had to. Oh, no. Oh, no. cavalcade of errors today guys <laughs> that just would have screwed up my whole vendu all my vendu just got screwed up because i ended all those without ending them over on vendu meaning that now i have 200 things that look like they're active in vendu but they're not and that means that cross the listing will not work why is my morning going like this oh my goodness oh my goodness i don't know how to fix this uh hi guys i'm dave i sell on ebay poorly <laughs> i'm so depressed right now <sighs> let's pull this train <sighs> um hi i don't even know it's i'm like so i'm so sad about this okay so let's say you're not a full-time reseller you don't mess with all this stuff you may not understand the errors i've just committed but I explained one of them. <clears throat> I must have sent an offer. This guy wrote me back. He said, I, I, I sent an offer for $10, an $85 item with free shipping, meaning on this $85 item, I'm losing about $3 when I ship it. It's that train. It's worth uh, at least zero. That's that's what I can tell you for its current market value. It's worth at least zero. Uh, and of course, the person was very willing to accept the offer. <laughs> Not apologetic at all. They're just like, yeah, sucks for you. You sent an offer. I accepted it. 
now there's options as an ebay seller right like if you don't have a high defect rate you could just cancel say it was a mistake pricing error and not ship it you can ship it and get a customer for life which is probably what i'm gonna do um and message a person you can message a person and see if they're willing to cancel it because it was an error there's a lot of options you can you can have here like i said i'm probably just gonna ship it let me know down below what you would do <sighs> I, don't know. I don't know i feel bad because i think i'd be less likely to ship it if this happened five minutes ago but this sale was two days ago and I've said nothing for two days, which means this person's been excitedly awaiting this train that they got a crazy good deal. They can't believe the offer they got. Too good to be true. And you know, in life generally, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. But they were all excited for the last two days about this item that they got for a steal. And it's like, I'd feel bad canceling it at this point. If I'd right away noticed and said, oh, that was an accidental offer. I'm sorry, I have to cancel this and canceled it. It would have been like, the guy would have been like, oh yeah, it makes sense, right? And I probably wouldn't have gotten negative feedback or anything like that because, you know, it was a clear mistake. Two days later, though, it makes it pretty hard to justify doing it because I'm just so inattentive. I didn't notice it for two days. I noticed it was a bad sale. I was like, man, that's a sucky sale. $10 free shipping. I'm probably going to lose money. I didn't realize it was an $85 item. So that's the difference. Okay, anyways. We're going we're gonna to recover. I sold this. Tiger Tools, Heavy Duty, Shepard, Pitman Arm Puller. $121.49. That's for diesel trucks too. Um, <laughs> the other thing is I screwed up my Vendu. So Vendu is a great platform for cross-listing. I talk about it a lot. There's a link down below. Um, with that, anytime you sell something on one platform, it'll automatically delist on another platform. So let's say you sell something like that train. It'll go and to Mercari and Vendu or to Mercari and Poshmark, anywhere else you have that train listed, and it will delete that list, meaning that you don't accidentally sell the thing twice. Now, here's what just happened, just so I can like easily and clearly explain it to you. I deleted all those items that I thought I might have sent an offer for $10 for, because if I sent one guy an offer for $10, then I know I sent at least 25 people an offer for $10. And I don't really want to sell a bunch of my stuff for $10 at the moment. I'm not looking to do a clear out sale. And although, and those offers will, were still showing active. So is this an eight? Although I don't know how long they stay active. Maybe they had already expired. They might have since it was a couple days ago. Was, I think, are they 24 or 48 hours? I think they're 48 hours. So I think they still had like eight hours to go, would be my guess. So I, you know, impulsively, as I generally do things without thought, as I generally do things, just go in there and I delete all those listings that have offers, 200 listings that had pending offers. Now all those offers are fried because those listings are dead. Then instead of hitting relist, I hit sell similar, which means that all my linked listings in Vendu just broke, all 200 of them. So I sold this. This is a little socket, a snap-on, quarter-inch drive. It's a little tiny drive. Uh, eight millimeter, six-point metric, $26 plus shipping on that. $26, guys. Crazy. <laughs> I said I didn't sell much tools or many tools, but look at my... Uh, my orders I've pulled, just all tools. So, such is life. But yeah, I'm a little a little frustrated at myself, but I don't know, what can you do? A4, A4, uh, that is missing. <laughs> I sold something out of one of these bins over here, a bunch of hero clicks. Yes, these right here. These are little hero clicks. They can be pretty good. Sell them individually. A lot of people will sell them individually. They'll like part them out and sell them for like six bucks a piece. And if you do that, you can make some serious bank. But for me, I really wanted to sell them as one big lot. So I didn't, oops, rolling socket. So I didn't have to, you know, individually list them. So this is what they look like right here. Little hero clicks. And I sold a big bundle of 75 of them for $38.24. So someone got them for like 50 cents a piece. That's a great deal. If they want, they can go in and sell them individually. Even if they got three bucks a piece plus shipping, they'd make a great profit. So that's a win-win. I think I paid like four bucks for the bag. All right, let's pull this next order, snap on. Okay, so I did sell a lot of tools uh, again without realizing it, but go me. I'm gonna run out of tools. The gravy train will die, but that's a, that's okay because that means I sold a bunch of tools. Oh, I think I put a little, yeah, a little tape on this one. So this is, oh, the tape kind of damaged the sticker a little. This is a set of 35 pieces extractor drill bit set for snap on. It's got 
a couple of broken ones there, which Snap-on will replace for free. And then one went missing, it looks like. But other than that, it's all complete. The amount I sold that for will absolutely shock any non-tool sellers in here. But that little thing with missing pieces, guys, for $198 plus shipping. $198. 200 bucks for that. That's just wild to me. Totally wild. Anyway, speaking of big sales, uh, I did actually sell this really cool evil witch lady from Snow White. She's got like the poison apple there and it's like a skull. This is actually hard wood, right? So it's heavy. It's going to be uh, a challenge to ship, I'll say. I'm just going to leave it there uh, and then pull it to ship it later. But sold that over on eBay. That's like a local Florida artist made it. I found it. I found it at the Browns flea market. I paid $40 for it at the flea market and it sold for 230 plus shipping and they paid $50 for shipping. I think 50 will be enough to ship it. The, the trick is going to be a box. I'll probably make something custom. That's probably what I'll have to do for that. I'll just make custom. I'll wrap it up a bunch of times in, in uh, bubbles and then paper and then make a custom box around it, something like that. So $230 for that. It's going to be a lot easier to ship the $200 in Snap-on tools. <laughs> it looks like the next item is a tool in a metal case, but it's not from my Snap-on bike. <laughs> It's so many tools. And I, now, luckily, I've pretty much listed all my tools. You know, I still have a lot listed, but I've listed all my tools, and I'm not sourcing again for a couple months. So the tool sales will slow and then die. So don't worry, guys. If you hate tool sales, they won't last forever. All right, so this is an Amco. I will say, when you pull tools, you get greasy hands. These are pretty greasy. I'm going to have to go wash my hands. So I sold this. I don't even know what this is, guys. I really don't. I'll go read it for you. But it's some little bits and bobs in a box that says Amco. It is called Amco Hydraulic Brake Cylinder Grinder. I don't, I don't know. At least I didn't sell it for $10. I'm like looking. Did I sell anything else for $10? I sold that for $50. $50 plus ship over on eBay. Let me look and see if I sold anything else for $10. I didn't. Ugh. All right, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. All right, so anyways, I sold Five Nights at Freddy's plush with the tag, brand new, Condition. That is 2020, sold for $29.74 plus shipping. So 30 bucks for that plush. So I had a thought, you know, I was talking to Callie in there, and I think it's going to be okay with the whole Vendu thing and screwing up my cross-list or auto D-list stuff. All I have to do, really, is just make sure that I double check every time something sells to make sure it got delisted from Vendu. That's not the end of the world. Uh, I sold one of my Lamax Scary Village houses. Um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for these. They weren't cheap. They were like 15 bucks, 5 bucks, 10 bucks, depending on the one. This was probably a $15 one because it's big, but I did sell it over on the eBay for $85 plus shipping. Lamax Spooky Down. This is really cool. The coffins like spin around in a circle. I, I don't know. It was really neat. I like it. I think it's worth the 85 if I was going to be doing like Halloween decorating and wanted to buy something. That's not a terrible buy. But yeah, it's going to be okay. The only thing, the biggest downer so far of the video is selling that train for $10 free shipping and potentially losing money on it. That's the biggest downer of the show. But everybody makes mistakes. I probably make more or the most mistakes, um, but everyone makes them. Let's see. This does not look like it's in the bin. It's supposed to be, which is great. <laughs> Honestly, I could have sworn I already sold this, but I know I had multiple. Here's the thing that could have happened with this item. This could be something. I might not be able to fulfill this. I really might not be able to. Because I might have already sold it. This is another great reason to make sure I do ship the other thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look, but I'm going to look later. I'll let you know in the next video if I find it, but I'll show you what it was. I swear I just shipped one of these. Maybe I had two of them. My only thought is, I don't really necessarily remember having two of them, but maybe I did. Three sold. Three sold. So I had two at least, because I've already shipped two. I don't know that I've had three of those at any point in time. So it's possible that I accidentally set quantity three when I only had two, but I'm not 100% sure. It's possible I have another one. I will look through all my bins. The only other place it would be is in one of those bins. So I'll, I will look through. $13.59 it sold for again. We just sold one last week. Hopefully it's actually over there somewhere. It might be. It might be. <sighs> it wasn't supposed to be so complicated, you know, life in general. <sighs> but sometimes, sometimes when you're Dave, you mess things up. 
All right, let's try to turn it to a positive note. <laughs> it's my anniversary. It's going to be a fun day uh, after I do all my work. This is an interesting one you may not have realized had value. I'm actually surprised I even looked it up. A lot of times with things like this, I even sometimes won't even sell them. Little tiny doggo. It's a Sheltie. And uh, I don't know if it's even branded. I don't know what motivated me to list this. Maybe I Google imaged it and saw that it had sold. But I listed this and it sold for $16.99. Oh, it's a Briar. Okay. It's from like Briar, the, the Briar Horses. There must have been a B on it. Yep, there it is. Man, it needs supervision to see it. But yeah, Briar. That's why I looked it up. Because the Briar dog sold for $16.99 plus shipping over on eBay. I sold a golf club. Uh, how's your store been doing? I will say, I mean, at this point, I have to kind of admit, it seems like my store is doing better since I've started listing daily with drafts. This sold Ping I 2 iron, and it's a 2 iron, literally a 2 iron, which I don't know. I don't feel like I ever see 2 iron, so I grabbed it, and I saw that, and I was like, oh, that could be good. I'll tell you how much it sold for in a minute, because I, I don't remember, but let me pull this socket while I'm over here. I will say there's a new opportunity for screwing things up with this whole drafting thing I've been doing, you know, and that is that like sometimes I'll hit, like I'll start a listing, but I won't finish it. And so the draft will be there unfinished and then I'll like accidentally go list it, even though I wasn't supposed to list it or I'll have two of the same draft and I'll accidentally list two. So I could totally see this draft method causing some issues here in the beginning with me kind of screwing stuff up. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but I can predict that it may. So anyways, this ping putter, or iron, sold for 30 bucks free shipping. It just fell on my foot. 26.77 free shipping. And then I also pulled this big old socket. It's silver, apparently the silver ones are worth less. $15 for an inch and a half snap-on socket. Socket? Socket. Inch and a 16th deep chrome socket half inch drive okay so you guys all yelled at me last time i did this with my camera in my hand so i'm gonna put down my camera and then i'm gonna go safely on a ladder and pull a giant sword i sold which i've you know intelligently stored on the top shelf which many of you yelled at me for that too and i'm gonna tell you my thought process on this dave why would you store a giant sword and battle axe on the top shelf said you and i said because I didn't want my kids getting into it, or anyone's kids, if they come over my house, seeing swords on the bottom shelf and playing with them. They're sharp. And I was like, I safely could climb up to the top knowing that I'm going for a sword, knowing the swords are up there. I'm the only one really that pulls my orders. So I feel like it's just safer to have them up there than have them down on the bottom shelf where they're accessible. So that's the answer to that. Let me pull them. I'll be right back. All right. So this is what's sold. It is literally a giant sword. Wish me luck shipping this bad boy. There it is. Um, it's got this like handhold thing. Now I saw several solds of this with a brown handle. This was the only one I found with a black handle on it. Um, this is from something. Let me put it down and then I'll tell you what it's from. Pretty cool looking though, I'll tell you that. Now I bought that in a big bulk buy for $100. I've already sold what? Two, four, 25 each, so. Sold 50. This one gets me where I need to be profit wise. Sold that for 200 and something. $250 plus only 16 for shipping. I, when I get that safely packed up, I think shipping is going to be closer to 25. So I might lose 10 bucks on the shipping, but $250 for that sword. That is Kit Ray Exothalum Sword. I don't really know what that's from, but that's what it's called Kit Ray. Tina, hi, welcome back. Hi. Happy anniversary, love. Oh, you look so pretty. Let's I turn the camera because your hair looks pretty. She doesn't want to be on camera. So I screwed things up further because he wrote back and he said I sent him an offer for $10, which I've only sent one batch of offers I sent to 25 people and one batch I sent like 200. So I, I realized maybe I sent everyone a $10 offer instead of a 10% off. And so I had to go like delete all my listings where I had sent those offers because there might be a bunch of $10 outstanding offers on $100 item. I don't want to sell all my $100 items for $10. So I deleted them all. But then I realized when I did that, I broke the link in Vendu. And now I have to figure out all those listings and delist them in Vendu. Otherwise, I screwed everything up. It's more so of the story. moral of the story is, is I'm impulsive. Yeah. So you <laughs> think it through. Go slow. How about I just do things and then regret all the consequences that I've brought upon myself? Why were you already talking about that? Yes. I sold the giant sword, though. Did you see that? Yeah, was it on the top shelf? Yes. Which kids can't get to the top shelf. You'll, sh mm -hmm. you'll stab your eye out. I'd rather stab my out than someone else's. I was coming out to fuss. Because oh. I can't curl my hair. Why? 
No, you know, I remember it was long and I chopped yeah. it all off. So, so it's it too short of, to curl? Look at it. Oh, uh, anyway. All right. Wait, should we show the viewers? It's all gone. She said her hair is all gone so she can't curl it properly. I can. It's just I have Sad to learn day. it. <laughs> all right. So anyways, we sold a burr wood little wall decor <laughs> thing. I sell these sometimes. I haven't been buying them as much lately. I see them too often. I think I talked to you guys about that. But it's a set of these. Two of them. Little horses. Uh, I think I have a second one. Where's the second one? You'd think they'd be together, but <laughs> not for me. Uh, there's another one, too. They basically match. And the set of two, I think, sold for $17. Let me see. Are they really an exact match? Oh, no. It's actually not a set of two. It just literally was this one. This one thing sold for $17. That's kind of cool. Plus shipping over on eBay. I'm the kind of person who all day will be like, I can't believe I sold that for $10. About the train. It's going to bother me all day. <laughs> er, but you know what? Out of sight, out of mind. I will... One of the other blessings of my brain is I will completely forget it happened in about two days. So, all right. Either way, guys, we sold $1,471 over on eBay in the last two days, so I can't complain. Ever since I bought these tools, I've been having $1,000 two-day hauls or two-day sell-throughs consistently, which is great for me. I also got AirPods at the flea market for $25. Bucks. AirPod Pros. That's a good deal. <sighs> All right, end of this video. Sorry I was emo for half of it, but I, you know, I screwed up live. <laughs> you saw it all happen here, and that's hopefully why you're here, to watch me uh, and all the struggles I have, but sometimes successes I have as a reseller. So we'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe, click the like button. Bye-bye.